For God so loved the world that whosoever believeth on him will be Yvonne Moore is a lifelong Baptist. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. <laughs> And she did what you'd never expect a faithful parishioner to do. Amen. She sued the church she'd been going to for 37 years. Amen. Covenant Baptist in Washington, D.C. Why did I do it? <laughs> that's a good question. It's funny now, because you know what? That's not of God. That, that was me. <laughs> I just got pissed off and did it. She sued to get a portion of her weekly donations back. Over 37 years, Yvonne estimates she'd given nearly $250,000 to her church. I was upset that I give them 10 cents out of every dollar. I pay tithes, and they didn't respect the members enough to listen to us. What got under her skin was her pastor's belief that gay couples have a right to be joined in same-sex unions. I don't believe in that. I'm Southern Baptist, and the Bible speaks against it. You cannot take that into church. You cannot just um, read a Bible and think that somehow you have now mastered the Word of God. Her former pastors, Christine and Dennis Wiley, a husband and wife team, presented their beliefs to their black church in a vision statement, calling for a, quote, inclusive body of biblical believers. When you wrote the word inclusion in the vision statement, were you thinking sexual orientation? We mean everything, yes. In 2007, more than two years before D.C. legalized gay marriages, the pastors performed their first commitment ceremony at the altar in their church. I went to the wedding because I didn't believe it. I wanted to see it for myself. And I went and I was like, oh, this is totally disgusting. Sending a prayer. That ceremony, and another later that summer, split the Wileys' congregation. We lost half of our congregation. Half, half of the congregation. 250 families. Yeah. Hey. But the doing? pastors push forward, in part because they believe fighting for gay rights was a natural extension of the black civil rights movement. I don't think we as a people have a lock on civil rights. I grew up in Florida, and in my hometown, I was one of the first persons to eat in a restaurant. I was the first person to eat at a lunch counter. Do you think the struggle of black Americans has anything that aligns it with the struggle of homosexuals who want to get married? You know, Dennis Wiley asked me that because he knows one of my friends that's gay and put that person in that position. And how do you feel about the way you were treated and just think about how he's been treated? And I was like, oh, okay. Do you think he had a point with that? Probably, yes. Yep, that is a point. Well, we have come together today. Earlier this spring, just days after D.C. legalized gay marriages, Tony Webb and her partner, Sandrine Shabu, were joined at the altar. I, Tony, take you, Sandrine, to be my wife. It was the first legal gay marriage at Covenant. Well, Lord God, Yvonne eventually dropped her lawsuit, but she vows she's never going back to that church. Soledad O'Brien in America, CNN, Washington. Amen.